Joe has uh, wrote his own mathematical books. He's uh, done so many great inventions and are now being turned over. His wind generators, his dammless water wheel, now they can take water pressure from any city or go to a river without a dam and generate many millions of kilowatt hours of power all over the world. He has so many things that he's turned over by his inventions in aerospace. He's, he's the top in the world and he's turning all his practical expertise over to us. I've always gone in and done things, what they said, it cannot be done, it's an impossibility. The impossibility can be done. Can you describe how you invented the um, afterburner and who you worked for, Rolls-Royce? That Rolls-Royce there when I was serving an apprenticeship. And the jet engines have a lot of dumped air. I took that dumped air and fed it into the annular at the back and then injected fuel there. The virtually converted it in, into a rocket engine. And uh, it was a very simple thing, but it works. It creates a lot more thrust and power uh, for jet engines. Oh yes, you can above double the power. Well, so now you're applying your knowledge to wind power. Now I'm applying that to wind power and other technologies. This unit here is a no dam turbine. This is the new Earthship design, built into the side of a hill. This machine, to start with, was developed for firefighting. Yeah, I was born in 1930, went all through the Second World War, went through holy hell over there. Lost my parents. Um, Graduated when I was 14, carried on, won a scholarship, uh, went to university. Graduated from Birmingham University, but also from Oxford and Cambridge. This unit here is a no dam turbine for generating electricity. So 100 kW would run like 30 homes, you know, roughly. Right, you know, about 30 homes. Just this little unit here. Just this little unit here. So you don't need to dam up. Yeah. Uh, so you don't need a dam. Who needs a dam anymore? It's just a, millions of dollars that going down the river for no use. Dam the dam. Dam the dam. <laughs> Great! Wow. So you can scale this up to any size you want. This can this can be built to whatever it can be designed and built to whatever requirements we've got of the water. You could even do 100 megawatts. Right now, it can also it can also be be modified internally to run off compressed air or to run off steam. So we got a steam turbine, air turbine, or a water turbine, all in one. Unit. Wow. It has four different ports to this side, to the other. With the flow of water, we maintain a given pressure. Maintaining that pressure, we've got a 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% of power. It's the only one in the world that can do this. This combines three different turbines inside and <clears throat> the latest technology of thrust tubes, both in here and within the turbine. So we use the water twice instead of once. And turns this, we can take off the shelf generators and couple, to, couple it to this and by the volumes of water we allow through here will determine the RPM. So no matter what generator you tie to this, 
<coughs> we can calibrate this here to suit the generator that is off the shelf. Discharge is down the bottom here. We can pick that discharge up, back in the pipe again, run it down, and pick it up on another turbine when we've built up a given amount of pressure, another one of these, and these can run in stages all the way down. We do not have to build a dam anymore and flood hundreds of thousands of acres of ground and taking that ground out of production. This will take care of it.